All right, here now on the phone to react to this is James Freeman from the Wall Street Journal. He is also a Fox News contributor. So what strikes me about this story, uh, James, is that here you have somebody from the FBI who's out there, as someone else eloquently put, unloading inventory to the media. <laughs> Um, you know, not 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 that he didn't have a right to do that, but that he was clearly doing it for his own personal purposes that had nothing to do with justice or the job or law enforcement. He just, you know, they found this is the IG said that he was only doing it to make himself look better because everyone was suspicious that he was getting so much money, you know, from the Democratic side that he was pushing Hillary Clinton's case. So he went out and sort of damaged her in the paper for his own um, you know, edification. What do you think about that? Yeah, that's certainly a, a case you can make from this document. Uh, by the way, at the Wall Street Journal, we do encourage all government officials to unload their inventory with us. <laughs> but, um, I, it, it's really striking, this uh, uh, lack of candor cited over and over again. And uh, that's, uh, that's perhaps somewhat of a euphemism here, because the offense that this uh, various offenses listed in the F in the FBI code of conduct. It's their prohibitions on quote knowingly providing false information. Uh, these happened uh, both under oath and not under oath. And and part of what's happening here is, is as far as the uh, inspector general is alleging is that uh, McCabe was not only dishonest with. Uh, inspectors, both from the FBI and the Justice Department, but also with Comey, that he misled Comey about uh, uh, igno or, uh, authorizing the discussions to the Wall Street Journal. And, uh, and you put it in the context, this is happening at the time when the journal is reporting, uh, raising questions given um, uh, the, all the money going to McCabe's wife's campaign from Terry McAuliffe's mm -hmm. uh, or, or uh, entities he controlled. Um, and uh, there's this back and forth going on where in the New York field office, they see problems at the Clinton Foundation. They want to go after it. Washington is restraining them. And it, it's a question here of was McCabe kind of trying to position himself as not the one telling New York to back off the Clinton. Yeah. I, I mean, that's very interesting. It's also, if you, if you then take one more step back, you know, we're looking at this was Comey's FBI, you know, where he has someone yeah. who's lying to him and who's lying about what he's doing. And, you know, here Comey in this book and everywhere else is trying to paint himself as this super Boy Scout and this patriot and a martyr and a hero and all these things. Meanwhile, he's, he's running this organization where... There are all these problems with with honesty and motives. And if you don't have that at the FBI, that that's really tough. I mean, because that's what they're supposed yeah. to be sort of enforcing is is the rule of law and truth and justice and, you know, all those boring old fashioned things. I think this is raising all kinds of questions for Comey. You remember in January, he tweets out that McCabe stood tall while small people were trying to tear down the institution of the FBI. Yeah. Talked about how McCabe served with distinction. The inspector general's report says that uh, yeah. at one point, Comey kicked McCabe off of a phone call because he didn't think he ought to be in on, apparently, the, the Clinton investigation because he may have been conflicted given the donations to his wife. Wow. Uh, obviously, this is all stuff we uh, probably would have liked to hear at the time, but it does make you uh, wonder why is Comey since then speaking so highly of McCabe?